Yeah, let's go. This is Scott Tavor with Uncommon Competitor. I want to share with you a book that changed my life. It's called The Passionate State of Mind by Eric Hoffer. Here's some, here's some wisdom from Eric. Thank you, sir. In every passion pursuit, the pursuit counts more than the object pursued. Enjoy the journey, enjoy the journey, enjoy the journey. Don't care about whether you get your goal or not or the object that you wanted. That has nothing to do with why you're doing what you're doing. And in most cases, if you pick an object or something you're trying to accomplish in the future, you're gonna fall short if you pick something that's a high enough goal. Makes sense to me. Another piece of wisdom. It seems that we are most busy when we do not do the one thing we ought to do. Most greedy when we cannot have the one thing we really want. Most hurried when we can never arrive. And most self-righteous when we're convincingly in the wrong. Here's another piece of wisdom. Be ready. The weakness of a soul is proportionate to the number of truths that must be kept from it. If you have a lot of people keeping the truth from you, you're in trouble. I'm in trouble. Be very, very careful hanging out with people who don't tell you the truth. That'll be directly proportionate to how effective and how fulfilled you are in your life. We lie loudest when we lie to ourselves. Quit telling yourself lies in the mirror every morning. Ha <laughs> ha, let's go. There is always a chance that he who sets himself up as his brother's keeper will end up by being his jail keeper. Don't do everything for other people. Help them to figure it out. If you do everything for them, they'll become dependent upon you, and then you will need them to make you happy. And that'll be the worst curse you can ever do for someone, is making them dependent upon you. That's a nightmare, and that's tough. That's really tough to sleep on it every night. Sometimes when we accuse others, we are actually excusing ourselves. The more we need to justify ourselves, the greater we will be our self-righteousness. It's a big deal. Stop accusing other people so that you can excuse yourself. Take ownership and magical things will happen in your life. Ooh, be ready. You cannot gauge the intelligence of an American by talking with him. You must work with him. You learn a lot more once you work with someone versus just talking to them. Thank you, Eric Hoffer. Life-changing wisdom. Here's some more. The control of our being is not unlike the combination of a safe. One turn of the knob rarely unlocks the safe. Each advance and retreat is a step towards one's goal. It's not easy just to fix something in your life or improve something by just turning the knob on your little safe. No, it's back and forth all the time. It's making adjustments and fighting for that, making that the most important thing. Let's go. Almost done. You can discover what your enemy fears most by observing the means he uses to frighten you. That's deeper than the ocean. Let me say that one more time. You can discover what your enemy fears most by observing the means or strategies he uses to frighten you. It's a big deal. Someone, some watch others to learn what to do and some watch to learn what not to do. Make sure you know the difference when you watch others. Two left. Rudeness is the weak man's imitation of strength. When you have to be rude to someone else, that's usually the weak man's imitation of strength. Beware, beware. Pay attention to when someone's rude to another person. Last one. Thanks for listening. The search for happiness is one of the chief sources of unhappiness. Stop wasting time searching for happiness in places and things and other people. They will never, ever, ever make you happy. And if they do, you'll have to be dependent upon them for the rest of your life to make them happy. And you will suffocate them. Eric Hoffer, thank you for the wisdom. Changed my life. The passionate state of mind. Scott Sabor, Uncommon Competitor. Let's go.